Hello and welcome to this video where we will look at how to divide values by 1000 using custom number formatting. So this question came up on one of my recent training courses where the user did not want the values to be presented as they are in column B here. They wanted them presented as if they were divided by 1000. But they wanted to keep that value though. So they don't want to actually divide by 1000. They want it to be the same value that pre presented in that manner. Now this is really easy to do with custom number formatting. You can see at the moment that the values on my sheet have got no formatting at all. So let me select these cells and do control one to open format cells. In here, we'll pop to the custom category and we'll start to build the format we want. So in this type field, if I type a hash to represent the optional use of a number, I'll put in a comma, which is the thousand separator uh, from my regional settings here. Three more hashes to represent that thousand. And then for this first example, I'm going to finish it with a comma. And that's the key step there. That comma on the end is what is going to give that divide by a thousand appearance. So if I click OK, that is the job done. They have been divided by a thousand using formatting. You can see in the formula bar that first cell, the active cell B3, is still the value it was. It just doesn't appear like that in a cell. So that was easily done. But let's take it a step further because maybe we want to include some decimal places. So in the case of cell B3, we are missing the 980. So back into format cells, control one, you can see I have the type at the top still, and just before the comma, I will put in the decimal point for my regional settings, which is the, the period or the full stop, and I'll just put in three zeros. I'm gonna have three decimals because we're dealing with thousands. But this is up to you how many you may use to type. And if I click OK again, we now have those decimal places included. Now let's look at one more example, because all of my values at the moment are positive values, but you may be dealing with negative values as well. So control one back into format cells. And in that type box, I'm going to put a semicolon in. Now, for those of you who've used custom number formatting before, uh, this is quite normal practice for you. But for those who are new to this, the semicolon separates the sections of number formatting between the positive, the negative, the appearance of zero values, and then text. Now, I'm just going to worry about the positive and negative here. Step semicolon will separate, it will delimit those. And I'm going to use a negative sign, the minus sign, and then really just repeat what I've done in the positive. So hash, comma, hash, 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 at full stop, three zeros, and then the comma on the end. Remember, that comma is the key part of this video, really. In fact, I may go a step further. And just before that negative sign, in square brackets, I'll type red. So it is formatted in red text as well. If I click OK to confirm that, there are no negative values here, so no difference in what we can see. But if I was to change uh, the value in cell B5, maybe, let's make that a negative value, and immediately it shows itself in red with that negative sign, but also it's still got that divide by 1000 appearance. So nice quick video. This one, guys, that's how it's done. Three little examples there of using that divide by a thousand approach with formatting. I hope you found it useful. Please click the subscribe button to be notified about upcoming Excel tutorials at this channel. Thanks for your time. Take care.